Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another video. This is my preview of Liverpool versus Manchester City in New Jersey tomorrow night in our second game of the US Tour. It's a hugely exciting one for me. My first pre-season tour with Liverpool. Well, my first game uh, outside of Europe with Liverpool as well. Um, and yeah, no, well, not many bigger games than against your domestic rivals. You're apparently biggest contenders for the title this season, Liverpool versus Manchester City, uh, the top two favourites for the Premier League, obviously the champions, who are clear favourites, and Liverpool, who many people fancy to give them a run for their money this season. Um, both squads are obviously not at their absolute strongest, the City squad in particular, um, with all their stars being uh, going deep in the World Cup. Um, the, just looking at their squad in front of me here, which I'll go through in a second, um, there are a lot of notable absentees. Obviously, it's the same with Liverpool, but... Luckily for us, less of our players went deep in the World Cup and that's not necessarily even a, um, a damning indictment of the quality of our squad because, you know, Van Dijk and Van Alden, for example, were Dutch players. Um, Mane and Salah playing for African sides, uh, not going too deep. So these are still, you know, top, top quality players, but not going deep in the World Cup does mean that we're going to get these players nice and early um, back in time. And, you know, we're going to have pretty much a full strength side by the time we play West Ham, I'd imagine. So that's all positive. But let's get into a less than positive matter, which arose from... Well, it arose from the Dortmund game and it arose from my video in response to the Dortmund game around Loris Karius. Um... So, I mean, he makes two mistakes against Dortmund, he really does. The, him coming out and the, the terrible kick, Dortmund should score in the first half. Um, it falls to their player, I can't remember who it was, and he, and he shoots wide. And then for the third goal, he just it's a fairly weak effort from Pulisic, I think, and he just palms it out, uh, and, and it's 3-1. Um, my, my video after the game simply said, get Karius out of the team, and I spoke in that video for, for about a minute on Karius saying... Um, if we hadn't signed Allison, then we'd all be really angry and this would be a disaster. But instead, we can kind of smile about it. And maybe that was a naive thing to say because obviously what Karras is going through on a personal level, we shouldn't be smiling about. And that was obviously not what I meant. Um, and this was before. I mean, I was naive in thinking that Liverpool fans wouldn't uh, go and send abuse to Karras and his family and stuff like that. I mean, that stuff is just pathetic. People saying that they hate him and they... they, they Oh, just like some really nasty things. I, I'm not, to be honest, I've not even seen all of it. And I don't even want to go and see it because it repulses me. I was simply saying, get him out of the team because it's no good for him. It's no good for Liverpool. Um, it's no good for anybody. Let's get him out. Get him a fresh start somewhere. He's unfortunately, he isn't good enough for us because of how he's responded to this. Um, big mistake in Kiev. Um, I've said time and time again, I thought it was terrific second half of last season. He makes that mistake in Kiev, and as the cliche goes, it's not about what mistakes you make, it's about how you bounce back. And it's only pre season, but he hasn't bounced back well. Uh, and I feel for the guy, of course I do, um, but it doesn't mean I don't want, it doesn't mean I want him to stay in a team and, you know, um, it, as far as it being a sympathy pick. You know, it's, it's a difficult situation, and I, and I would love for him to go away do well somewhere else, prove people, well, prove people wrong, um, and have a great career. But at the moment, I mean, Alisson is in, he is a world-class goalkeeper, he is obviously our number one, Karras is not going to get a look in, and he's not going to get a run of games and a chance to, to pick some momentum up again. So he has to leave, unfortunately, as far as I'm concerned. Um, he has to be taken out of the firing line now. I don't think he should play against Man City because... What's the point? Um, I mean, Man City fans are going to take absolute joy in ripping him to shreds if he makes a mistake. Um, that's what City fans do, and that's fair enough. Um, so, play, I mean, some people were commenting saying I should get off his back, um, and what about players like Origi? People that were commenting that just obviously didn't watch the video because I wasn't, oh, Karras is this, Karras is that. Karras. It was, get him out of the team. Um, and thank God we've got Alisson. It was it was it was very um, constructive and and sensible, you know, and, and mature. I'm, a, I'm an adult. I mean, I was there in Kiev um, when he came over to the fans, pleaded for forgiveness, and I was I was the first person to clap him. And then there were people around me not doing that. There were people calling him names right around me, local fans as well. Not you know. So um, yeah, it's a difficult situation, but I mean, I, I just hope he's I hope he's well and. Yeah, let's hope he can, he can move forward. But yeah, I mean, I would pick Gabara for this game. Uh, and there's Kelleher there in the squad as well. So I wouldn't be afraid to throw Gabara in. Great experience for him. And just give Karras a bit of a respite. Um, that would be 
my advice. I mean, and look, okay, I, I put Karius in the title, but I mean, I had a bit of a go at Origi in that video. Um, I suggested that Dominic Slanky need to buck his ideas up. I, I, I understand he was uh, being played out wide in his unfavoured position. But Origi in particular, I've been, to be honest, probably harshest on him out of anyone in preseason. Always, every, after every game, really going on about how, how poor he's been and how technically bad he's been, not even been able to pick out teammates. Um, never looking like scoring, um, but people got sensitive about the Karras thing. And people obviously came to my video after he put that post up on his Instagram about um, people taking joy in other people's failures. And obviously I wasn't taking joy. My video went up before that post. Maybe if I'd have seen that post um, and maybe understood his mental situation, I wouldn't have put the video up. But it was right after the game. I didn't think that me saying get him out of the team was going to be such a, a big deal. Some people didn't like it. That's fair enough. We're all Liverpool fans. I hope we can all move on and I hope Karius can move on. And I hope people will stop abusing him. It won't happen because, unfortunately, especially on Twitter, I mean, Twitter is just a really horrible place to be for football. Um, everyone's just, honestly, if I log into Twitter and scroll down, it's just people being horrible. It's people being, trying to be funny and people just doing anything for retweets. So I don't spend much time on there, to be honest. Um, but follow me a bit might say if you want to. Anyway, we've got a game against Man City tomorrow night. I'm flying out to New York tomorrow morning, um, straight to Carragher's Bar in New York, and then uh, a coach to um, East Rutherford, I think it is, for the game. City squad. Okay, let, let's read it from top to the bottom. Bravo, Hart, Grimshaw, Murich, Laporte, Mendy, Denier, uh, Adarabioyo, Humphrey, Zinchenko, Bolton, Roberts, Delebashiri, Mares, Matondo, Sane, Silva... Uh, Luis, Harrison, Diaz, Foden, Garcia, Tuazzi, Pozzo, Garrett, Mecha, Wilson are better. I mean, I've only heard of about seven or eight of those players. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they are significantly weakened. I mean, compared to us, um, we are looking relatively strong. Um, so, you know, I mean, <laughs> as much as it doesn't matter, bragging rights are still a thing. I mean, especially uh, with Man City at the moment, where we seem to have really got under their skin recently. Um, so our options are pretty much similar to the last game. We've only got John Matip to worry about injury-wise. Um, so the defence is a bit depleted. We're probably, probably going to be looking at a partnership of Chirivella and Clavin second half, maybe. Um, so keepers, we've got Gabara, Kelleher and Karras. As I said, I would keep Karras out. Maybe give Gabara 90 minutes or if not 60 and then bring on Kelleher. Um, uh, defensively, Klein and Gomez, right backs. Centre backs, you've got Van Dijk, Phillips, Chirivella and Clavin. So I'll maybe play... Uh, Van Dijk and Phillips together and then Clavin and Chirivella second half or after an hour or something if you want to bring players off. You might get to the point now where players play longer than an hour to build up that fitness. Uh, Robertson and Moreno is your left back options. Midfield, as we know, Milner, Keita, Woodburn, Fabinho, Kate, um, Fabinho Lallana and Jones. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, Jones has been consistently, consistently good on the ball. Uh, very confident footballer in this preseason tour. And then Ojo, Camacho, Sturridge, Slanky, Markovic and Origi, who between them... Um, I mean, Sturridge is a standout, of course, out of them. Camacho doing very well as well. The rest have probably got to step up. Ojo is probably doing better than um, the others. Markovic obviously had a good game against Blackburn. Um, but as, as I keep saying, Slanky and Origi are struggling. We've then got uh, Vinaldum, Salah, Mane, Shakiri, and Grujic, um, who are there, but probably not going to feature here. Might be lucky and get a cameo from a couple of the stars to please the fans in New Jersey, but I don't think it'll be any longer than sort of 10 minutes for those guys. It's always been earmarked that the United game would be the one where they um, begin their pre-season preparations properly. Um, so very interesting to see. Leave a comment with your score predictions. Um, given the, the strength of our squad compared to City's, wish I could say that in the normal season, uh, for this game, I do think we might just about have enough um, to see this one out. I think we'll hopefully learn from our defensive mistakes against uh, Dortmund and hopefully maybe balance the two sides out a bit more. Um, I thought first half defensively we were very good against Dortmund but not so much from an attacking sense and in the second half vice versa we attacked really well even though we didn't score but uh, defensively we looked a bit light and got overran in midfield a little bit. Um, so yeah just hope Klopp can find the right balance. Obviously it's all about finding out um, more about his players ahead of the new season but yeah we want to win some games because you know, it does matter. People will people will definitely um, admit that it does matter, especially against domestic rivals results in this preseason campaign. So very excited, guys. If you are also going to the game, leave a comment. Let me know where you're going to be. Um, it'd be nice to meet some of you out there. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I've just done a giveaway on my Instagram, um, so you never know which platform the next giveaway is going to pop up on. I've given a, a lad a Liverpool shirt, uh, he's a lad from Dublin won the Instagram giveaway, so a Liverpool shirt is on the way to him, so make sure you follow me on all four platforms to be first to know about any other giveaways. They're all global as well, so all of you can get involved. And subscribe to this channel, of course, if you're new uh, for all the content, whether that's previews, reviews, uh, transfer news, vlogs, all that sort of fun stuff for the Reds. See you next time.